you know how sometimes people want you to print something and then scan it uh, when you just have a digital copy to start with? Um, this is a way to use Photoshop to make something look like it's been scanned to satisfy that requirement. So when I bring into Photoshop, it usually doesn't have a white background here, or it doesn't have a background here. So the first thing I'll do is add a white background um, using my fill tool so it looks like a document. Um, next thing I do is I like to put it askew just a little bit. So I'm going to take this first layer and do a transform and just, just a tiny bit. You don't go overboard here, but just make this thing a little tiny bit crooked. Gives it some more realistic effect. Uh, next thing I'll do is make a new layer. I'm going to bring in what's called a grunge texture. So if you just Google for grunge texture, you find something that looks like this. And so I'm going to bring this up here and fill it in to just fit this. Uh, that's obviously a little extreme. So since it's on a white background, we can bring down the, uh, the opacity here to make it look a little more realistic. Um, maybe right about there. And then I would take the whole thing and merge it um, using Command E or con uh, Control E. And then do a filter and add noise. And you know, you kind of just want to go with what your gut says. Like, if you don't go overkill, it makes the whole document look crazy. But um, just a little bit makes it look like maybe it was run through a scanner once. Let me go about 10%. And there you go. Looks like you've got a scanned document.